Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'm going to teach you my top targeting tricks for modifying your Squarespace website with CSS. Most importantly, how do you know when to use a block ID and when to use a selector? I've got a couple of other questions to answer, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention what we're talking about today applies to any version. So if you're on an older version of Squarespace and using CSS, this content still applies to you. So these are the three questions we're going to answer. How do you know when to use a block ID or a selector? How do you know you picked the right selector? And what if you picked the right one, but nothing happened when you tried to customize it with code? And for this tutorial, I'm using two different quote blocks here inside my Squarespace website. So let's start off with the first question, block ID or a selector. A block ID is a unique number given to every block of content on a Squarespace website. I have a free Chrome extension that I use to grab this information. I'll link to it in the description below. By clicking on that extension, you can see both of my quote blocks have different block IDs. I'm going to copy the block ID for the second quote, and I'll show you how we can use this to apply custom CSS to just that quote block. I'll turn off the extension and I'll navigate to website and then select website tools. This is where you'll find your site-wide custom CSS. Now I'm just gonna paste that block ID right there and let's give it a background color. Uh, let's actually make it a linear gradient. I love a good gradient. We'll go from my favorite shade of teal to the solid color blue. And there we go. Now we have a linear gradient for this quote block, but only the second quote block. What if I want this gradient to apply to both of them. That's when I'll need to use the selector. So I'm gonna hop into my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. This is my list of all of the selectors that I use to modify literally everything in Squarespace. We'll scroll down to quote block and here we can find the selector for the entire block. Here we go. I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna hop back into Squarespace and instead of the block ID, I'm gonna say SQS block quote and check it out. Both of them now have this background gradient. So you use the block ID when you want to change one specific content block. Use the selector if you want to change something about one specific content block type. Hopefully that makes sense. So how do you know you picked the right selector? Let's say I'm modifying this quote and what I really want to do is change the quote source, but I can't quite remember the selector for it. I might say something like SQS block quote and I'll go ahead and give it a border. I'll say border 5px, solid red. Now this isn't a live website. This is just me modifying the CSS. I haven't clicked save yet. So adding a border to it lets me know, hold on a second, this is gonna outline the entire thing. All I wanted to change was the quote source, so that's not the right selector. I'll hop back in the CSS cheat sheet and say, okay, here's the actual selector I need for the quote source. Let's work with that one. I'll paste it here. And now just the quote source is getting that border. Another way that I've tested this is just by saying display none. And if the thing I'm trying to edit goes away when I say display none, I know that I've used the right selector. So then last but not least, what if you pick the right selector, but nothing happened? Sometimes you'll make a change on your Squarespace website and you don't see the code change you want to see. This is actually super common for buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into edit mode and I'll add a button here really quick. Let's go ahead and just add a standard button. I'll drag it down here to the bottom. We'll select save and let me show you what happens if you pick the right selector, but nothing happens. All right, let's hop into the CSS cheat sheet. I'm going to grab the button block and I'm pretty sure that was set to primary. So let's go ahead and say, okay, primary button, here's your selector. We'll paste the selector. Let's scroll down so we can see the button. I'm gonna open up a curly bracket and say background color purple and nothing happened. My button didn't change at all. What I need to do now is say exclamation point important and check it out. The button is now purple. Now, why did we have to add exclamation point important? The browser saw that inside my site styles menu, I had already told it to make that button a specific color. What I need to do is tell it, hey, my custom CSS right here, this is the important code. Pick this code instead. So if you're using the right selector, but nothing happened, try adding exclamation point important at the end of the value in your code to make sure that the browser pays attention to your code. 
Those are my top targeting tips for modifying your Squarespace website with CSS, and I hope you found this information helpful. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in purchasing my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet, you can get lifetime access to my Notion database of Squarespace selectors at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.